because we are going to have some strong opinions on this one in the comment section. Gavin hit us up. He said, if Ohio State somehow gets in, does their freeze point have them enough to then win a national championship? Now, the freeze point, uh, that is trademarked nomenclature for late kick. It essentially means, are you good enough? Do you meet the minimum baseline requirements that it takes for a team to be able to win a title? Absolutely, Ohio State meets it. And I think it would shock some of you to know that if those two teams you watched in Columbus last week, Michigan and Ohio State, you know if they played right here on this little neutral field we're on, you know who'd be favored? But it Michigan. Now it'd be a very small spread, but it didn't Michigan. And it reminds me, speaking of the SEC championship game last year, reminds me when we saw Bama, Georgia, and you saw Bama run them out of the building, you saw the same two teams play a month later, who was favored? It was Georgia, favored again. And a lot of people said, how can this be? Uh, well, how'd that game turn out? And so I'm not saying Ohio State would beat Michigan in the rematch. I'm not saying they wouldn't. I'm saying, yeah, I think it'd be a very competitive game. I think it would be at the very least a tight point spread. Now the game would be what the game is. Uh, so the short answer is yes. Here would be my question. This is not far away from happening. We only need USC to lose uh, in order for this to happen, theoretically. What would the mentality of Ohio State be? I was listening to our buddy Zach Smith talk about this the other day. I mean, he coached there, knows a bunch of players there still, knows guys on that staff. And I think even he was struggling to understand if they do get in the playoff, like, what are we getting from them? Where are they checked out? Are they able to check back in? Uh, C.J. Stroud, you know, what kind of performance do you get from him? Which Ohio State do we get? Because right now, you know, the team that would be slightly favored against Michigan, the team that would be favored or at least expected to fight Michigan, it's an all-in Ohio State team. Would we get that? I don't know. Uh, how did that loss impact them? I can speak pretty confidently for past Ohio State teams that if you offered them, if you dangled that piece of red meat on the end of a fishing line, hey, you just lost to Michigan, but we're going to give you another shot at it. You wouldn't even get the sentence out of your mouth before 47 of them just jumped up and took it from you. Is this team like that? Does this team have that kind of instinct about it? I don't know, and I think a lot of our viewers in Buckeye Land are kind of feeling the same way. I don't know. I don't really know if we have that. And you know what? History has shown us if you're still asking that question about your team by December, they don't have it. So if they still get in, they get a chance to prove you wrong, obviously. But here's the flip side of that. There's always a flip side, Meemaw said. And the flip side is... What if they get in and get beat by 30 against Michigan? What if they got another shot? You talk about going from being humbled to being castrated as a program. You get in again, and then they do it to you. It's like basically when we saw Utah and Oregon play last year, and Utah just drug them, like 38 to 10. But then three weeks later, voila, Oregon got a chance at redemption. They're going to play Utah in the Pac-12 championship game, splattered. And it was every bit as bad and every bit as physical a mismatch as it was the first time. That's Oregon-Utah. If that happened in the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry, you're talking about folks going into a mental and psychological shell minimum until July. I would not see or hear from some of you until fall camp open next year. So, yeah, it's great for you to get another shot. Careful what you wish for, I guess. I think some of you feel that way, actually. Uh, let's keep it moving right, here. So what are your thoughts on this completely ridiculous, asinine statement, in my opinion, from Josh Pate, who claims that Ohio State would be favored in the next rematch if we were to play it on neutral terrain? I mean, we went into Ohio State and beat them, crushed them 20 points without our best player. What possible reasoning does he have that would make him think that they're favored on neutral terrain in a rematch? Now, I think the other main thought, and then he makes this Georgia-Alabama comparison, which I'm just, I'm not even sure. I'm going to ask you guys, like, what, what, I don't remember who played where, when, but maybe you can fill me in on that. But the other thought is, like, you know, this, if we did rematch them, I would actually kind of like it. I think I kind of would like it because I think we would win again and it would demolish their, like, it, it would castrate them, as he says. It would feel so great to beat them twice in one year, wouldn't it? And I kind of like our chances, so... I mean, I think the mentality of like, oh, I don't want to play them again. I was thinking about it and it kind of is like, you are it's still like you're scared. Like we're scared to play them again. Like we kind of feel like maybe we got lucky. No, like we went into Columbus, 
we demolish them. We should have confidence that we can do that again and that we would do that again and that we want to do that again and that these guys cannot stop us. They cannot stop our run game. They can't stop our passing game either at, the, at this point. But the one other caveat to this um, to this is that you know we played the first two halves of four halves if we were to rematch them. And I think the play calling and you know the um, the adjustments, you know, the adjustments would be a key thing. So how would they, they adjust the play calling to compensate for their mistakes in the first two halves? And would that be enough? It seems to be, to me, Michigan's a better adjustment team than Ohio State because of what happened. I mean, we came in the second half and just crushed them in the second half. So I like our chances a lot. What do you guys think?